All right, so welcome to the Uber Club. Um, let's see, we <laughs> got Al Peaslin, uh, Mark Animal McYoung, uh, Ian Abernathy, is that right? Yeah, Rory Miller <laughs> and Nicholas Young. Uh, we are here to talk about martial arts, and we'll be doing that in a second. But first, I'm going to uh, pass this over to, I'm the host, I'm Chris Wilder. I'm, I'm, I'm playing host at the most, or the Merv Griffin of the moment, however you want to term that. Um, he made a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> um, and uh, I run West Seattle Karate Academy. You got the uh, WestSeattleKarate.com, uh, the Striking Post blog, uh, co-wrote um, Little Black Book of Violence, The Way to Black Belt, The Way of Sun Chin, did a DVD on that too, and a bunch of other stuff. So um, Al, we're gonna go hand this to the right because that's the way that it goes, and so you get to give us a little bit of your uh, resume as well. Thank you, Dick. Well, yeah, I'm Al Peasland, uh, 25-ish years martial arts, started out in Shotokan Karate, uh, trained under Jeff Thompson for the majority of my training career, um, studied various other arts then, Western boxing, various uh, wrestling arts, Greco, freestyle, some Sombo, um, now kind of following more of a softer line in my JKD arts, but trying to blend that in a little bit. So we're going to do some of that this weekend, some of the Panatukan, some of the Dirty Boxing. Um, worked the doors for about seven years in Coventry, um, and still managed to get out while I still have my good looks, I like to think, um, but not my humour. Uh, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> and... Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of my background, really. So, you know, I now run uh, CompleteSelfProtection.com, uh, which is uh, my kind of catch-all kind of business, really, for self-protection training, uh, martial arts classes, private tuition, seminars like this, products, um, various bits and bobs. So, yeah, that's my background. So, uh, over to my right, Mr. Matt Young. Mr. Mac Young is my father. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm Mark Animal Mac Young. Um, I'm alive after pissing off a lot of very dangerous and violent people. And uh, wrote my first book in 1989, Cheap Shots, Ambushes. Run uh, No Nonsense Self-Defense. Um, haven't been shot at in 14 years, which is a new record for me, that I've never gone this long in my adult life without uh, ticking somebody off that much. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Uh-oh. My fan club's here. <laughs> Does he got any guns? Um, I've written, I believe, 21 titles on various aspects, personal safety, uh, videos, etc. I'm currently working with Rory Miller on uh, conflict communications, which is all the stuff that people tend to forget about, violence and conflict, like what to do before it goes physical. Um, run no nonsense self com and conflict communications. Pass that. Not that much. I'm still alive. That's impressive. <laughs> Here's Ian. Uh, Ian Abernethy, spelt with uh, the Scottish word, I-A-I-N. Uh, 25, 26 years in uh, Japanese karate, predominantly Wado, but I've mixed that with uh, other bits and pieces. Studied Wado under Doug James, who's an eighth dan with the WKF. Um, currently studying with... Uh, Peter Constantine, trained with Peter on a weekly uh, basis, and Brian Seabright, who's the head of the BKA, who uh, also trained in judo at the moment under Mike uh, Liptrot. Um, written um, four books on the practical application of traditional martial arts. Uh, one book, which you could, I guess you could call it kind of self-help type book, but you know, one book on um, uh, um, developing a stronger mind. And I've done about 20, uh, 20 or so instructional DVDs. Uh, website is ianabernethy.com, again, spelt the Scottish way with I-A-I-N. I think that's about... That was quick. See, I'm Rory Miller. <laughs> Rory Miller, I started in Judo in 1981 and then moved on to classical Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, so Sushitsu Ryu. Uh, then I went to jail and spent about 17 years working booking and mental health, maximum security. I was working. I was working. <laughs> um, uh, then I got bored and I went to Iraq for a year and spent a lot of time, not just in Iraq, there teaching officers, um, teaching martial artists the difference between martial arts and violence and doing a lot of work studying with violence. And as Mark said, we're working now on getting some of the underpinning 
of what causes all conflict so that we can control it and hopefully predict and make bad things not happen. So that's on to Nick. Uh, my name is Nicholas Young. Uh, I am currently heading up Young's Martial Arts Association. Uh, you could check it out at ymaa.com or ymaaboston.com. And I formally took over two years ago from my father, Dr. Young Jun Ming. And the styles I practice are uh, Shaolin White Crane and Shaolin Long Fist. And I also practice Yang style Tai Chi. And this is all from my father's lineage. Um, so uh, I've been trying to promote martial arts in the 21st century. Um, and things have changed quite a lot in the past 20-ish uh, years since I've started training. Uh, but I'm trying to find ways to make it work and ways to adjust to this modern generation. And I'm hoping that this expo will bring everyone together from all these different disciplines will really help promote the idea of community and su mutual support and networking. Uh, and that's that's about my spiel. <laughs> we got plenty of questions. Right? I, I want to know with the nat last name Yang. What what if you decided to do say like uh, uh, Wu Tai Chi? Would you be? Would Christmas be difficult? <laughs> at the house. <laughs> Just, we, do, uh, we, we have invited instructors uh, and masters before to do seminars in Boston. So we have learned stuff like Bakwa and Xing Yi and Liu Ho Bafa. Uh, those are mostly from uh, Grandmaster Liang Shouyu uh, from Vancouver. All right. So um, we've had uh, a little bit of time together uh, out in Seattle, seeing the sights and um, and um, doing it really fast. We covered a ton of ground, I think. It's a lot of good stuff. And um, for the record, the Brits take as many pictures as the Japanese do. Um, it it's just it's a day. <laughs> It's there. There's different subjects, but the volume is is the same. Um, <laughs> um, you know, one of the one of the things that I think is really an interesting subject is is really um, what how different is it today from when you trained? I mean, you know, it makes me sound like an old man to say, well, if I taught the way that I was taught, there I wouldn't have any students. You know, it bordered on abuse and. You know, honestly, some of it kind of did. Some of it wasn't very productive, and other parts of it were really productive, you know, because you found things inside yourself. You were forced to go into a place that you didn't know that you had, and your instructor was able to see that and to, to pull it out of you. And, um, you know, now, today, things are, are very, very different in regard to, uh, you know, teaching the martial arts, and I, I know it brings a certain level of frustration to me. Not that I care to, you know, go whacking my students with a shinai, uh, you know, every other weekend, but um, you know, things are very, very different. So what I want to know is, I want to know how do you describe the way you learned, you know, when you learned, and then the second thing is, is how does it compare to the way that you teach and the way that you see people's behaviors today? And instead of going around in the circle, Ian's eyeballing me, so here you go. No, I, I, I <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a lesson. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> no, I, I was just thinking, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure that it is that different overall. I, I think what, what it is, is when, we, when you start off, you know what you know when you've been experienced martial artist. You get the bigger picture. You get the way the way that it is. So I think same as it was back in the day. I think there was good stuff and there was crap. And I think still today there's good stuff and there's crap. You know, I think where where it's changed a lot. I think is that what should help anyway is now we've got access to easier access to information, which we didn't have before. So people should be able to. You'd like to think anyway. Be able to better differentiate between what's good and bad. But I, I'm not sure that's that's what what I, I see on the ground. I mean, for my own personal thing, you know, I, I was um, I had that traditional uh, upbringing. You know, you went in the dojo, you did exactly what you were told, you trained hard, and you know, uh, you, you gave it your all, and you didn't keep anything back. And but to be and I, st I still teach that way. And when I train under uh, like Peter, every, the Thursday morning sessions that we have are exactly like that. There hasn't it hasn't it hasn't changed for me in, t in terms of what I do or how I teach. I think the difference is in terms of how it would be the quality of what I teach I think is better. 
because I have more access to information.